Hello and welcome back to my latest video. On this video we're going 340 to 331. I'm approaching the 200 fighter mark past. Okay. Um, so we'll go through 10 more fighters on this slide. Um, as I head to the finish line of the number one being named. So let us go to the first fighter on this particular video. Um, in 340th place. I've already gone 500, 500, 340. I'm not doing too bad. So fighter number 340, okay, is a lesser known fighter called Panama Joe Gans. Panama Joe Gans um, beat one world champion. Panama Joe Gans had six fights against champions. And Panama Joe Gans fought a total of 50 rounds against champions. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Panama Joe Gans beat three individual Hall of Famers. Um, and Panama Joe Gans had five fights against Hall of Famers, averaging seven rounds apiece, coming in with 35 rounds against Hall of Famers overall. Now Panama Joe Gans... Um, um, had four world title fights, made one title defence and fought 42 title fight rounds. And all in all, he had eight fights against champions and Hall of Famers. Um, his longest unbeaten run was 34 fights and Panama jo Joe Gans won one world title. And like I said, remember, beat one champion, okay, in eight fights against champions and Hall of Famers. But also many of these guys fought many top fighters who were not champions or Hall of Famers. Like I said before, that has to be factored in as well with the older guys, especially with less titles, less opportunities. So, um, let us now take a look at Fighter 339, and we're going to the UK again, okay, to the Prince, okay. Um, Prince Nassim Hamed, who comes in 339th place. Prince Nassim beat 10 world champions in his career and had 11 fights against world champions, of course, with the loss to Barrera thrown in the mix. Prince Nassim had 16 world title fights. He made 15 title defences overall. And Prince Nassim fought a total of 97 title fight rounds. And Prince Nassim Hamed had 13 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had 9 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Prince Nassim was top 10 rated for 9 years. He was top 3 rated for 7 years. And he was a ring champion for 0 years. And Prince Nassim Hamed... Um, had a longest unbeaten run that ran to 35 fights and all in all he won three world titles the thing is about Nassim he would he would unify but then the belts would go you know which were a bit disappointing for his overall legacy but let us leave him there okay fighter 339 Prince Nassim Hamed another UK fighter down in down in these lower stages okay the bottom 200 we've had an old boatload there are some special cases coming up though in the top 200 and top 100 okay so all is not lost so fighter number 338 is the Hawk Aaron Pryor. Okay, Aaron Pryor beat Cervantes, beat Arguello. Um, you know, doesn't have the deepest resume. Um, Aaron Pryor beat five world champions. He had six fights against world champions. And Aaron Pryor comes in also with double-digit title fights um, with a total of 11 overall. Aaron Pryor also made 10 title defences and fought 94 title fight rounds. Now, Aaron Pryor comes in with 12 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had eight fights against top three rated fighters. And Aaron Pryor was top 10 rated himself for a period of nine years. He was top three rated for six years. Um, and Aaron Pryor was a ring champion for three years. The longest unbeaten run um, in the career of Aaron Pryor was an unbeaten run of 36 fights. And Aaron Pryor won two world titles. I always remember um, the finish against Arguello with that massive volley after the special bottle. <laughs> but I also remember in that fight, those fights, how tough Adam Pryor was. He took some clean right hands off Arguello. Stunned a few times here or there, noticeably, but by God, he could take a shot. So let's go to 337, okay, with Bob Armstrong, okay, Bob Armstrong, uh, a name many may not know, but he was a very good fighter, Bob Armstrong beat two world champions, um, and he had a total of 11 fights against world champions overall, Bob Armstrong comes in with a tally of 64 rounds fought against champions, and Bob Armstrong did not beat any Hall of Fame fighters, he did have two fights against Hall of Famers, um, and fought a total of 16 rounds um, in those fights. Now, Bob Armstrong fought for coloured titles, okay, and he had seven world title fights, made two title defences and fought 55 title fight rounds. And Bob Armstrong comes in with a final tally of 12 fights against champions and Hall of Fame opponents. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Bob Armstrong was an unbeaten run of eight fights in total, and Bob Armstrong won one world title overall. So basically, Bob Armstrong fits in place 337. 
we shall now go on to fighter 336 and a fighter who's an underrated puncher and generally has an underrated career overall okay not the greatest fighter but a very good fighter rocky lockridge in number 336 so Rocky Lockridge beat four world champions. He was in some damn good fights as well. Uh, Rocky Lockridge also had 13 fights against world champions. Um, and Rocky Lockridge comes in with a total of 12 um, world title fights. He made four title defences um, and fought a total of 132 title fight rounds. Now Rocky Lockridge comes in with a tally of 19 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had 13 fights against top 3 rated fighters. Um, and basically Rocky Lockridge was himself top 10 rated for 10 years it's bizarre how many fighters have been top 10 rated for a decade at 10 years um, Rocky Lockridge was top 3 rated for 5 years and was a ring champion for 1 year and the longest unbeaten run in the career of Rocky Lockridge was an unbeaten run of 16 fights in total and Rocky Lockridge won 2 world titles overall so some classic fights uh, a mixed bag career, lots of good opponents, good fighter Rocky Lockridge, underrated by many. Now, battling Jim Johnson also goes underrated by many. Now, he's not a great fighter, but has one of the toughest resumes for its size you can find, namely because he fought the great black fighters Langford, Wills, McVeigh, over and over again. Battling Jim Johnson did beat three fighters who were world champions, and he had a staggering 36 fights against champions overall. And battling Jim Johnson comes in with 383 rounds for against champions. Now, battling Jim beat two individual Hall of Fame fighters and had a staggering Staggering 35 fights against all of famous, which is where his bad record comes from. Battling Jim also fought a total of 381 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. He had eight world title fights in total, made zero title defences. If I remember, he was no win, six loss, two draw, because it was Wills and Langford and Co. who were beating him. He fought 82 title fight rounds and had a massive 36 fights against champions and Hall of Famers. The longest unbeaten run in the career of battling Jim Johnson was an unbeaten run of six fights, and he won zero world titles. Had he a better win rate against those opponents, he'd have been higher. Um, but he was hurt by, you know, the lack of a great win run there. So number 334, okay, is the underrated former featherweight champion Ernesto Marcel. Very, very good fighter. Ernesto Marcel beat four world champions and had eight fights against world champions. Ernesto Marcel comes in with a total of six world title fights. He made four title defences and fought a total of 72 title fight rounds. Now, Ernesto Marcel had 12 fights against top 10 rated fighters, and he comes in with a tally of 10 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Ernesto Marcel was top 10 rated himself for 3 years, he was top 3 rated for 2 years, and he was a ring champion for 0 years. <clears throat> The longest unbeaten run in the career of Ernesto Marcel was an unbeaten run of 14 fights and he won one world title, of course, the featherweight title he held. Very, very good fighter, okay, fought some Hall of Famers, mixed results, but was a very good fighter. So Ernesto Marcel, okay, comes in 334, we shall now go on to fighter, named in number 333, and it is the multiweight champion, Leo Gamez, okay, Leo Gamez who beat six world champions. Uh, Leo Gamis had 18 fights against world champions overall, and he comes in also with an impressive tally in world title fights, coming in with 15 overall. Leo Gamis made four title defences and fought 149 title fight rounds. Now, Leo Gamis had 19 fights, okay, against top 10 rated opponents. He had 14 fights against top 3 rated opponents. And Leo Gamez was top 10 rated himself for 5 years. He was top 3 rated for 3 years. Um, but Leo Gamez never held a ring title. Quick drink. Been on me live, it's tried me throat out. So, the longest unbeaten run in the career of Leo Gamez was an unbeaten run of 20 fights. And all in all, in his title, he won a very respectable 4 world titles. He captured 4 world titles. Okay, so Leo Gamez is in number 333. I am curious how the, well, now seven, fa seven factors being added into my scoring will change it around. <laughs> Changing it just as soon as I've done it. Typical me. 
So in number 332 is Everett Reitmeier. Everett Reitmeier beat four world champions and had 17 fights against world champions overall. And Everett Reitmeier had zero world title fights. He made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. But Everett Reitmeier came in with a staggering half century of fights against top 10 rated fighters with a staggering number of 50 Okay, uh, Everett Reitmeyer had 23 fights against top three rated fighters and Everett Reitmeyer was top 10 rated himself for three years. He was top three rated for one year, but he was a ring champion for zero years. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Everett Reitmeyer was an unbeaten run of 36 fights and he won zero world titles. But once I've finished this playlist, I will at some point soon have to be doing the top 100 fights against rated fights, champs, all of famers and the wins in that category. Everett Reitmeyer has a massive number there. 50 fights alone against top 10 rated fighters in his career. Wow, that is a massive number for a non-champion as well. So let's go to 331. It is indeed Saul Mambi. Okay, Saul Mambi, who beat three world champions in his career and comes in with a total of 15 fights against world champions. Saul Mambi comes in with a total of 10 world title fights. He made five title defences and Saul Mambi fought 141 title fight rounds. Saul Mambi also comes in with a total of 28 fights against top 10 rated fighters and a total of 18 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Saul Mambi was top 10 rated for 8 years. He was top three rated for four years um, and Saul Mambi was not a ring champion so that is zero years. The longest unbeaten run in the career of Saul Mambi was an unbeaten run of 12 fights and he won one world title. Saul Mambi would have scored higher had he had a better winning rate against the better opponents he fought. Did score a lot of good wins in his career, mate, no doubt. But if he'd have had a better set of winning runs in there, he would have scored higher. But still, it's a very respectable finish for him, as I'm sure eight sins will agree. So there's my latest video, my latest 10 fighters. More coming tomorrow. Um, I am out for now. Time to rest my throat.